Rest assured, those who want to redefine marriage are very, very focused on their goals. They see the fights in these states as the kickoff to reversing the victories in 32 states where the voters said yes to marriage being defined as the union of one man and one woman. A New York fundraiser this week was expected to raise millions with Hollywood celebrities as the keynoters. In Arizona, we lost a marriage amendment in 2006. Now, I really don't like to discuss that defeat, but it's critical to realize that winning on the marriage issue at the ballot box is far, far from a slam dunk or a certainty. Thankfully, by God's grace in Arizona, we were able to come back in 2008 and enshrine in our state constitution the 20 simple words to define marriage as only the union of one man and one woman. <laughs> when we lost the marriage amendment, several key factors went into that defeat. But one of the key factors leading to defeat was that the church in general and those who care about marriage did not believe that we could lose. They did not engage in the fight. People thought, oh sure, Arizona will pass that marriage amendment. Friends, we cannot afford to overlook these marriage fights in Maine, Maryland, Minnesota, and Washington. I am privileged this morning to introduce four of my colleagues who are leading the fight in these four states. Each one leads a family policy council in their state, like I do in Arizona. If you are not familiar with the family policy council movement, please take time to visit our table in the exhibit hall and find out who in your state is leading a family policy council and how you can engage with us on state issues. We are associated with both Family Research Council, focused on the family and Citizen League. We address issues impacting families at the state level like the Family Research Council does on the federal level. In every state where the voters have voted on marriage, the State Family Policy Council has played a leading role in those victories. Let me introduce our panel collectively to begin with. Each of these gentlemen shares a core belief in God as the creator of marriage. Each one of them has responded to the call. Each is sacrificing family time, career opportunities, because of their core belief in marriage and why marriage is worth protecting for our children and for our future. Each of these men is a colleague, men who love the Lord and are passionate about faith, family, and freedom. Take time to read their official bios in the program book. From Minnesota, we have John Hamburger, the Chief Executive Officer of the Minnesota Family Council. From Maine, Carl Conley is the Executive Director of the Christian Civic League of Maine. From Maryland, Derek McCoy is President of the Maryland Family Council and Maryland Family Alliance. In Washington, Joseph Balfour is the Executive Director of the Family Policy Institute of Washington and President of Family Policy Action.